Okay, welcome, 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 everybody. Um, I'm excited. We're going to talk about Dubai in this episode, this trip episode. Dubai. Yeah. We went. We did. It was awesome. <laughs> it was not what I expected, and it was exactly what I was expected. In one word, we're about to roll this Dubai bit that we've got here. In one word, what would Dubai sum up for you? It, when somebody asks me, like, what did you think of Dubai? All I can say is du- Dubai is a lot. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. That's a that's that's very good. Okay. Well, let's just jump right on in. Um, here is Dubai. Welcome to Dubai. A glimpse into the future, an oasis in the Arabian desert, one of a kind attractions and flavors. This is the jewel of the United Arab Emirates with the main attraction being the Burj Khalifa. Truly a spectacular place with so much to see and do. Nearly 14 and a half million people will visit Dubai this year and that number keeps growing every year. The spectacular array of skyscrapers that offer high-end luxury experiences like rooftop pools, cool bars, and good late night, it's no wonder people are coming to Dubai in record numbers. There are so many different kinds of experiences in Dubai. These cool things like the world's tallest 360 degree infinity pool, being an Instagram model in the tunnel to the museum of the future. It feels like you've stepped into some kind of sci-fi panacea city of the future where everything is perfect and clean and they literally sweep the sidewalks and everything is fast moving good pace everywhere you go it's lit it's beautiful it's decorated oh and the world's tallest building lit up at night in a spectacular way with a crazy good water show this is really a lot to take in with your eyes i think we're going to need a faster way to get around and sightsee we're mobile. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, huh? So the scooter method is the greatest way to see the Dubai Marina. It's a huge area. Our hotel had a great view of the harbor, and we could see right out our deck to go look at the boats, but we wanted to get down on the street level and see this whole area, and it is huge it's massive and there's lots of stuff to do and everything is so very instagrammable every shop along the harbor has done everything they can to stand out and be cute everything feels like it's built for instagram coffee shops pastry shops one thing that was very cool was even though muslims don't eat pork they have bacon and sausage made of beef and it's delicious So after breakfast, we really didn't want to go back outside because it's hot. And that's when we found the magic walkways of Dubai. Right along here on an atlas, there's a a stretch of the world that is two things. One, really hot. And two, they love shopping malls. So we're hanging out in a mall, even though we don't really want to shop, because it's very hot outside. It's a recurring theme. Instead of walking around outside looking at natural stuff and the water and the boats and the neat things outside, we're inside. Because I don't want to be outside. It's too hot. Yeah. It's like 110 degrees. So we go to Dubai and end up going to the mall These miles and miles of corridors exist for a reason. The mall is cool. There's a lot of very neat things to see. But ultimately, you're in a mall because it's so hot outside. And so they do this outrageous stuff, like put this crazy aquarium in. And they have a stock with unbelievable wildlife. Like the sea creatures in this thing are great. However, you're constantly 10 feet away from a cheesecake factory. It starts to feel like you're in this retail prison because you don't want to go outside and explore but yet you're hanging out in a mall in the search to do things inside i must say 
We loved going to the movies. The movie theater experience in Dubai, oh, oh my. It's, it's amazing. It's like a first class seat on an Emirates flight. It's unbelievable. Okay, so there are ways to beat the heat. Public transit, and you'll hear us say this over and over, is the number one way to see a city if you want to get past the tourist level. The public transit train in Dubai is absolutely spectacular. It works well, it's easy to navigate, the announcements are in English, and there's lots of maps and helps. And by the way, you see, incredible things you see structures and buildings and you get a panorama of downtown because it runs right through the corridor of dubai but what's really cool is it runs through the newest parts of dubai and then you pass the dubai frame which is the signification that you're going out of new dubai and into old dubai which is more traditional and uh guess what you are not in a fancy shopping mall anymore. Hello. Hello, sir. Morning. Hi, good morning. Okay, we're starting to see some things, but it's time to check into our Airbnb. For the first couple of days of our trip, we had stayed in a hotel. In fact, we had planned to stay in a hotel the entire time. At a hotel, you get a certain amount of amenities and there's a maid to make up your room and you pay for a view and you hope you got a good deck and you hope the bed's soft. Everything you want in a hotel room, right? But we really felt like it was sterile. It was opulent. And sure, we had a nice view, but we were hot. We didn't want to be outside and we didn't want to be stuck in the hotel. So we decided to change the plan and check in to an Airbnb. So what we would have spent there for one night, let me show you what we have for three nights doing an Airbnb in Dubai. One more check-in, let's see what happens next. Now that's a kitchen with a view. <laughs> Laundry. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? So I feel like we can see the fountain pretty good from here. What do you think? <laughs> can you please point me in the direction of the Burj Khalifa? <laughs> right around here. We're very close. I feel like if I threw my keys. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Look at that. Look, look at that. What would Patty say? It's next, it's next level. Next level, right? It's next level. <laughs> so here's our big tip on beating the heat in Dubai. Get yourself an Airbnb. Like, like I'm looking at the patio underneath of me right now. That you really want to stay in. And since you want to be in your Airbnb and you want to enjoy the most of it, it was time for us to explore the local grocery stores, which we found to be incredibly internationally stocked. So we bought a little of everything. Help me remember what all this stuff was. Okay, starting with the wine is from Australia, the tea is from London, the butter is from Denmark. Denmark. The olives are from Spain, the pasta is from Italy, the Parmesan is from Italy. Denmark. Denmark on the butter. Honey is from Kyrgyzstan. 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 Garlic is from China. The boars and cheese is from France. Angus ground uh, beef from Australia. This is from Saudi Arabia. Blueberries are from uh, South Africa. Chocolates are from Dubai. Chocolates dates are from Dubai. And so are the cons. We're about to put together an amazing meal in our Airbnb kitchen while we watch the amazing show, 
just out our balcony window. Cheers. There are approximately 150,000 hotel rooms in Dubai. And look at the view we ended up with in our Airbnb, facing directly across from the Burj Khalifa and seeing the water show every night. Spectacular. We found a way to beat the heat by wanting to stay in our own apartment, our own Airbnb with this beautiful deck and a gorgeous view of this amazing show. To be honest, we never went down to the fountains. Every night, we would sit on our deck and watch this amazing, technologically advanced water show special. Unbelievable. Okay, well, you just cannot talk about Dubai unless you bring up boats and swimming pools. Welcome to Aura Sky Pool Lounge, the tallest 360 degree infinity pool in the world. And yes, it's awesome. 360 degree views of Dubai, there is not a bad seat in the house. You must have a reservation, you must book ahead, and you must pick what part of the pool you wanna sit in. And I'm telling you, there's no bad side to this thing in the evening. There are sessions in the day, and there are sessions at night. We went at night and found it to be spectacular. How's the swim collection coming on? <laughs> right near the top. Right near the top of the good swim. <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about boats. There are over 68,000 millionaires in Dubai. 68,000 people that have a million bucks. Of course, there's going to be some boats. If you look at things to do in Dubai on any social media platform, chances are you're going to see ride a boat, take a yacht trip, take a private cruise. Thank you. And that's exactly what we came to do on this beauty right here. A sunset cruise around Dubai Harbor. What do you think? <laughs> that is quite a view. Remember talking about those ways to beat the heat in Dubai? Well, this is a spectacular way to get out of the heat. Now, it's still very hot, even down on the water, but it's lovely and there's a breeze and snacks. Now, depending on what size boat you book and how many people there are, you may have a staff waiting to serve your every whim. We are not used to having staff, so we did our best to make it not feel awkward. But we got to see things like the Burj Al Arab. That's a seven-star hotel, the only one in the world. Of course, it's in Dubai. As we pulled back into the harbor, the lights of the city could only get brighter and the views only got better. What an amazing trip. We will always remember that night out on the boat in Dubai Harbor. Are you enjoying Dubai? I love Dubai. I do not want to live here. It's too hot. <laughs> Dubai feels like there is a lot of pressure, a lot of fast pace, a lot of things to see. You must get out and do it all. Rooftop parties and seeing these amazing sights. And everywhere you go, people are just wanting to party. There's these spectacular things to see and do, but the drinks are expensive and there's a lot of traffic. And while the architecture is amazing, it's sparse and it actually starts to wear on you and feels like it's a little lonely. You didn't expect it to end that way, right? So that last piece, I wanted frenetic music and yeah. boom, 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 because go, 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 go see yeah. all the things, go see all the things. And then these buildings and the scale of it all. And then it's totally impersonal. Yeah. It's lonely. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So we, our, our flight attendants on the Emirates flight told us Dubai is amazing. Dubai is lonely. It's hard to meet people. Yeah. The number one expat complaint is... Can't connect Finding with people. connections with people once you're there. B making friends is very, very difficult because if you didn't bring them with you, it's really hard to make them there. 
You said an interesting thing about your London guy that gave yeah, us all well, the tips. Yeah, well, we sat down at a pub in London, and the, a guy just started, he couldn't tell us fast enough where the best places to go get a curry was and all the things that we needed to see. And I thought that was incredible. And we do that everywhere we go. And just, you know, you're Josh, and you have your personality, and you are very good at making friends, but it was, it never happened. And it didn't happen once to strike up a conversation on a bus, on a city train, mm -hmm. at a restaurant, Nobody. Nope. It's happened in Singapore. It's happened in, in Malaysia. It's happened all over, but it's, it did not happen once in, in Dubai. So uh, the other thing about going to Dubai, you were very concerned about having to wear the right garb and be right. very conservative. Yeah, I did enough research. What was it like? I did research, and the, everything I read was like, wear long pants and cover your shoulders. And when I got there, it was completely not that way. There were women in shorts and tank tops, and you go to a pool, and there's bikini thongs everywhere, and there's just butt cheeks everywhere. It was, it was, it was not was what I expected. Not even close to what I thought it was going to be. But you do still still kind of as a woman feel like property and that was very tough second class citizen yeah, a bit not, not you... quite not quite enough to be recognized as a whole person yeah so. so the opulence and the money and the there's always something to see and do but at, didn't you start to feel like all the things were all the same kind of things you're going in a mall because it's air conditioned and well you're... everywhere you go you you just feel obligated to spend money because you're you're using their air conditioning yeah very gorgeous the architecture once again like these look at these buildings like yeah. it's insane yeah but they all kind of look the same after a while to me like yeah it just felt like a very big place that didn't have a lot of soul a yes. lot of heart yeah not a not warmth and then my final observation is that that's a it's a greed culture it's a materialistic it's very my car shinier than your car yep. culture yeah my hair is longer and better and prettier and just anything like anything and anything that you can compare is that's what's done yeah there's a one-upmanship there that's like i'm prouder because my watch is shinier than mm -hmm. your watch and you'll never beat anybody because right. there's always somebody way richer than yeah, you in exactly. dubai exactly well, that's Dubai. Uh, it was fascinating, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this trip episode. And uh, please like and subscribe. Obviously, it helps the channel if you hit the like button. Um, thank you so much. Please send us comments, and uh, look forward to the next episode, trip episode, uh, Thailand. We're yeah. going to encourage that you watch Thailand. For those of you watching in real time, that will be the next one out. For those of you just finding this channel, we would suggest that you go watch the Thailand episode next because that's the order of publish. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>